Frank Baker is a decorated Vietnam War veteran. He has two Purple Hearts and a gallantry medal. But his closest brush with death was not on any battlefield. He was right here in Vermont. This is the first time he's spoken about the horrific events of June 1995. We were getting ready for fishing. We were sitting on the couch the day before the derby. Everything was great. Pete was sitting next to me. We were having one hell of a time. And uh, all of a sudden, It was the damnedest thing I've ever seen. Frank was freaking out and making me freak out. I, I was in sheer panic. All I could do was try to fight it. I was petrified. I had no idea what, what, what was taking place with my body. None. Eventually, Pete and Frank managed to extinguish the flames and get Frank to a doctor. For Frank, this was only the beginning, and the medical profession were no help. The doctor was completely baffled, and he said, looking at it, Frank, this burned from the inside out. And he said, I've never, ever seen anything like this. Yet Frank was nowhere near any source of heat or flame. I wasn't smoking, there were no flames around, there was no lights on, no microwaves. All that was coming in was the sun from the far end of the house when this happened. Frank Baker appears to fit all the criteria for survival of partial spontaneous human combustion and he's had to deal with it. He's had to come to terms with something that was said to be impossible, something that could not happen. 